All right, YouTube, we're going to play some Grixis Delver today. I got this deck from Lawrence Harmon's uh, Twitter page. <coughs> There's a chance that I play some Grixis Delver at SCG Baltimore, so I just wanted to be um, be able to pilot it. It's been my favorite blue deck that I've played so far. So I've played Shadow, Grixis Control, <coughs> Grixis Delver, and Rug Delver, and it's been the best one so far. It's just been the most consistent. The best threats, best answers. So I've been enjoying it. I'm currently 3 0 in the league. So we'll see if we can hit the rest of that. Hit the 5 0. So I'm going to get some coffee while we wait to get paired. Might be a little loosey goosey to start this morning. I just woke up. So it's about 6 30 Washington, D.C. time. So, so things might be things might be a little rocky to start. I've really enjoyed this deck. I, I've liked the threat base. Like, you know, this is your quick beat down card. This card lets you like snowball out of control. And this card's just messed up, completely messed up against a lot of the format. Like, you just can't beat it. And then also Gurmag Angler kind of falls down the beat down cards like Delver. It's like a quick, big threat that just kind of spirals out of control. <clears throat> I've noticed that I've played about seven or eight games of this deck, <clears throat> and I've wanted one more removal spell. That kills either Gurmag Angler or Tarmogoyf or Death Shadow. So I might think about, like, I haven't been super happy with this Snapcaster Mage. I might think about changing this Snapcaster Mage for like a dismember <coughs> if we play a few more leagues here. Just give that a try. Alright, let me play. Nice. Alright, we'll keep this hand. I might force of will to protect my Delver on turn one if they try to kill it. Probably keep this spell pierce, pitch this preordain. Inventor's fair. Oh god. Oh, so this is like an infinity deck? Okay. Alright. <clears throat> we'll wasteland that. Set up our Delver. <coughs> or it'll just flip on its own. Let's start by attacking. And then I think I'm just going to preordain a wasteland. I don't really see a reason to hold up spell pierce because they're likely going to play a bunch of creatures. Alright, put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. Get rid of that. <coughs> Maybe I should have kept the polluted delta. <coughs> There's just so many cantrips in this deck that I, like I don't need the land right now, and I always find the land when I need it. Not always, but I, I tend to find the land that I need, even if it's a little slow. The race. I'm only doing two damage a turn because this the Vault Scraper's lifelink. I have no idea what's in my opponent's deck. Just kind of why I like hitting this thought season, this force. I think if they go like, 
don't think I'm gonna force a Ravager. I think like Ancient Tomb Ravager, I could force it. Wasteland and Thought Seize them. Opponent's <clears throat> thinking. I should look up like a legacy affinity deck. See what's going on. Now I could just force this, waste this, Thoughtseize them, which I kind of like doing. I don't really want them to untap with this thing, and I didn't hit my second land, which means that maybe I should have kept my second land. <laughs> That's nice. So now I can actually Thoughtseize before I do anything. Oh, we're about to get wasted out of this game. Um, at this point, I probably just have to let the chalice go. I have to take out one of these things that like actually messes with me. I think I'm just gonna play this Karn, or hit this Karn, not play my Wasteland. Days there. Well, no, they can't even. I could just take this Mox Opal, waste this, and they're so far away from doing anything. I kind of like doing that. <clears throat> but this Chalice is just going to go. Let's just take this Chalice, waste them. Feel bad not keeping my land earlier now. Because they're just not going to get there. How's it going, Mountain Rider? They're just not going to get to those big haymakers, hopefully. <clears throat> okay, so they waste this. If they could have turned on their Mox Opal. I would have been incentivized to uh, to wait, I think. <clears throat> Doing good. Doing good. Up and going early this morning. Dog needed to go out, so. Alright, nice. Now we can get Gurdad in play, which Gurdad should, should seal the game up here. Now that I know they're a Wasteland deck, I'm, I'm definitely going to keep my mana. Keep more of my mana in the, in the next games. Because, like, I didn't really know what was going on. And I didn't know if, like, because, like, if I think of an Inventor's Fair deck, I think of a deck that needs mana. Oh. What is this? What do you got? I think we're just going to counter this. Because it turns off Mox Opal, too. Which means they're now two plays, like two mana away from any of their big plays. I'm not thinking Chump Gurdad. <clears throat> a Daze would be great. Alright, this is a good play for my opponent. They're not blocking. Blocking doesn't do anything yet. <laughs> I think I'm just going to play this Blue to Delta. It gives us some information, but if they want to waste me, then, and this makes it so that I can upgrade next turn. <coughs> they have to block both of my creatures next turn. Like, if they add to the board, they literally can't. I guess they play a one draw counter. Okay. Still didn't do it. 
I'll just destroy this. <coughs> destroy target artifact. And then just crack with the Delver, and they can't get any life, and they're dead as a doorknob. Man, I love flipping Delvers. If only the de this deck didn't cost a car. Okay. So against this deck, I think I want... I think I want a Braid. Um, Diabolic Edict sounds good. I don't really know what else I want. I want Thoughtseize. Grim Lava Mancer, I guess, sounds kind of odd. They do have a lot of little creatures. I think Daze is probably still pretty good against them, even on the draw. I'm going to try this. Because, like, they just go up to so much mana and they have, like, big creatures. <clears throat> I usually like Thoughtseize against the Chalice decks, though. So I'll cut one days. Go like this. I don't know if this is right or not. <laughs> I, I I'm glad you like it. Pisa Pisa Kudasi. All right, we have a brainstorm, and we can beat a chalice. So we're gonna keep this hand. There's your chalice. I might wait. If we draw another land, I might waste them. We didn't. <coughs> it's going to have to be really juicy for me to daze, I think. That's. I don't think that's juicy enough. I think I'm just going to go fetch a Valk. Let it go. They might name Wasteland, but whatever. If they have if they have a Waste... They can't really do that, right? Look at the pot's hand. Activate the ability of source. Choose a name. Cannot be activated. Okay, so even if it hits their own Wasteland. Here's a little thing. Like I wanted to get the cheapest fetch lands so that I could get them through card order, and I actually don't have like the two, 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 two split. So they can actually get me with some fetch lands here. They chose wasteland. Okay. There's Venice Fair into. You gotta pay two for it, right? Okay. So we're going to abrade this EOT. I guess I could have done it right then in order to make sure they don't gain a life. <clears throat> this thing's annoying. One, two, three. Still has three artifacts no matter what. So, all right, so let's do this right now. And it resolves. It's a lot of ancient teams. Okay, so we have enough resources to deal with this. We need another land. We didn't hit another land. Now I'm dead. Cause like I don't maybe I should have just like abraded this. But I don't know if casting one spell a turn is actually gonna win me the game or not. Now we have to slow down. Probably have to deal with this. The problem is I can't kill this Arclan Ravager. 
I can't kill the lake. This ravager is just gonna be so annoying. And now they're gonna waste me. Yeah, we're dead. That wasteland's gonna get us. Maybe I got greedy there. I should have just abraded the ravager. Probably should have. All right, we're on the place. This days gets better. Probably can deal with one less force. We'll submit here. Could the E maybe might be good. You do a lot of things for two. I probably should have done that. Yep, we're gonna keep this. This hand's pretty good. We can let this pyromancer get out of control. That's what we're looking to do. We're going to just clear the way for our pyromancer. They mulligan too, which is sweet. This hand's nice. They want a five. What do they do with this guy? They put it on top. All right. Guess we just gotta take this choke. The double walking blister is gonna make our young pyromancer a little worse, but pyromancer will clean up. Unless they freaking okay. There's walkie boy. There's our boy. This card's so messed up. I think I gotta figure out why rug is not good, and it's because like this is just a better time of life. I don't think I'm, I'm not going to take this shot. I just want to take incidental damage, I don't think. We lose out on some Pyromancer tokens, but like, such is life. <clears throat> We're already at 16. We have two more Thoughtses in our deck. They have like, you know, at least one more damage hanging out. We're gonna get that TNN going on here. And then they're probably pretty cold with June Nemesis. If I had to assume. <sighs> Waking up. Alright, so I hit a factory. There's the Ballista, and they can play another one. Man, they're doing a lot of damage themselves. Okay, so I don't want to get wasted off red. So now I can actually go Pyromancer Lightning Bolt next turn and feel okay with it. Because it'll just like it'll the pyromancer will trade with this, but it'll also give me a one one. Let's me use all my mana. I guess alternatively I could just bolt it then play it. Yeah, I might as well just do that. And then we gotta turn up the heat. Hopefully we find a cantrip. If we find a cantrip, we can go. Like Bolt Pyromancer, Pyromancer Cantrip, and then the game should be pretty much over. Excuse me. <clears throat> My opponent's like can't even tap mana without being pained, which is just like a double problem. <clears throat> At least this offsets this a little bit. This Vault Scourge has been nice. <coughs> Hope everyone in the chat is having a good morning. If you are from the US and it's the morning. 
because I can actually pull up this legacy affinity deck now. Okay, so it looks like Arcar Ravager, they have Etch Champion. That's going to be tough to beat. So we should look to win because Etch Champion is a hard one to beat. Huh. It kind of stinks. They do slow us down a little bit. Hope that. We're okay trading here. Like, we're trading damage here because if they don't have another land and they have to pay two mana to deal us two, or they pay two life to deal us two, then I'm okay with that. <clears throat> they have Lotus Petal, three mocks, a Sword of Fire and Ice, a little Soppy. And Mazawa's Jurget on the sideboard. That card's scary. <coughs> Deal all I know is. That could be annoying. So now they innovate, crack us. Now I'm gonna have to do some some thinking. I don't want to play this Delver. I guess the Pyromancer is more. And then can I attack? They go Manimate. Yeah, I probably just go with this and hold back. <coughs> because three, they're going to gain two. I'm only dealing with one. And I'm going to take two from this. I need like a cantrip to find me like a lightning bolt or a black source. Put a counter on everything. Okay. All right, that's fine. Okay, that's actually a pretty good draw. Now I can attack with both, play another one, play Wasteland. I can play a Delver also. Oh shoot, shoot, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh man, don't do it opponent. Oh no. Oh, that was so bad. This is the morning cobwebs getting us here. Oh, that was bad. They pump it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that could cost us. I guess I could have I could have also played like a Delver, but whatever. Like I punted. I was not hundred percent with it. I'm gonna lose this race. I'm gonna need I need a spell off the top here in order to fix this issue that I just created for myself. If I find the spell, then I'm good. Because I'm gonna kill that vault scourge. <clears throat> 
I think if my opponent attacks their steel overseer, I'm gonna trade. This is just I forgot to play my wasteland before I attacked, which just cost me. Which will happen. That will happen to the best of us. Five spell. All right, I'm just gonna attack with both. Play two delvers. My opponent would be at two less life if I did this correctly. <coughs> so these bad boys flip. We're in good shape. If they not, if they don't, then I'm dead as a doorknob. We're going to get like a welding jar. Probably a welding jar. Because the jar protects this. Walking ballista. Three. Okay. That kills me. Oh, man. Yeah, we're dead. Oh, that's frustrating. I should have won that game. I should have won that match. Thank you very much for the raid there. Bonds, Bonds MTG. Appreciate that. Yeah, I should have won that match. That's so frustrating. But it was my fault. Like I was just waking up, shaking the cobwebs. I wonder if that pyromancer. I just didn't draw a spell. Like I needed to draw another spell or evaluate if I should have been racing or not. Boy, you always go back to sleep after you eat. You're wired. The chat wants to say hi to Phil. Yeah, I appreciate for it. I appreciate it. So, everyone say hi to Phil. Who? Twitch chat, me, Philly boy. All right, we're on the play again. Sweet. All right, we're gonna mulligan. I think we're gonna mulligan again. <coughs> Here. Don't need it. So we get an underground C and thought C's. Yes, he is very handsome. Phil's, Phil's the man. I love me a Philly boy. Force pitch portent. Okay, so we're playing against miracles. It should be fun. It does suck that we're down so many resources. But at least they just two for one themselves. What? No lands? That's odd. Okay, so we're not going to need this, and we're not going to need this other Valk. So we'll just go like this and pass, fetch in our upkeep. I don't know what my opponent's doing. They must just F6 through their turn. Jeez. We'll fetch in our upkeep. Yeah, I just kept a no lander. This has just been an accident. I'll give my opponent some credit. I'm going to keep that land in my hand. <clears throat> just because if we hit a brainstorm. Oh, 
this means I'm going to have to fetch, which is this is stupid. All right, I don't really want another threat. I just kind of want more interaction at this point. Which days is good interaction against the opponent with no lands. And then I'm going to just delve fully for the Gerdad. <coughs> I drew a miracle. I oh, drew land. I think I'm just gonna get this. Megan? Oh, one second. Very odd keep from our opponent, but okay. So I think it gets miracles. I want my Snapcaster, my Fluster Storms, my Thought Seizes, and my Blasts. I don't really want this Abrade. I don't want this Lava Man. I'm going to cut a Force. This is what we're going to do. We don't need wastelands against this deck because our land, like we can go down to 15 lands because our mana doesn't get tanked. But we do get hands like this. <clears throat> but like wasteland doesn't do anything to this hand. All right, this hand's really good. Keep. They move with five Gs. On the bottom. Okay. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out this morning. I hope everyone is having a great start to their day. Phil. No. The Philly boy's going nuts. Alright, force isn't bad. Ponder. I kind of don't hate this. I think I want to draw. Actually, I do kind of hate this because I can like. There's just too many threats. I, I kind of want this. I kind of want this force to pair with this force. But besides that, I don't really want any other cards. So. Okay. I've never played this format. It looks, looks like, yeah, it's pretty intense. All right. Give this the Teddy Day skis. It's a lot of fun. The problem is that my deck, my deck literally costs a car. I'm just gonna hold this preordained for this young pyromancer. Like I want to be able to go force. If they play back to basics, I want to be able to force plus Buster Storm. Or mentor. Porn's cool. There's a lot going on. I think you can be okay at this format if you play like a blue cantropy deck in modern, because there, there's a lot of the same skills that cross over. I shall run this out here. If my opponent plows it, they plow it. Oh, I should have, I should have, uh, no, I couldn't have countered that. 
We're going to get a two for one here. Yeah. Now we just hope to untap this pyro blood eye. Oh, there's a miracle. Okay, we're going to let that go. Because we've got another Gurmag Angler. So standard and commander. Blue light control actually doesn't really transfer over to this control deck. Okay, no shuffle. Um, put on the bottom, put on top. I guess I want more red sources than black sources. I have more red cards in my deck. We're not going to be able to cast our dad, so. Actually, I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to put this on top because I would like to like pair these two forces with each other because they're not good on their own, but together they're okay. What are they playing in their upkeep for? I could just let the Snapcaster resolve and then daze the predict, which I think I'm going to do. Because they're just predicting off their brainstorm. I don't really want to force a 2 1. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's. We're looking for a blast now. That's pretty good. So we're gonna put the Trinity Nemesis on the bottom, but we, we want the Trinity Nemesis for sure. Now we just have to not get jaced. We have double counter spell, so. We're probably not gonna force a plow because we have a um, we have a tree name coming. So if they plow my Gurmag Angler, they plow Gurmag Angler. We're just gonna let that go. Snapcaster Mage is okay. <sighs> I could just fluster storm this. This is one two. Yeah, I think I'm going to Flusterstorm this. I don't really care about the body. It's the cards that matter. Snapcatcher's Mage's body really doesn't matter in Legacy, unless you're playing with like the Kolagon's Command, I've noticed. Like, the body is not nearly as good as it is in Modern. Okay, let's take this Jace, and then I think we're just going to, I guess I'm just going to pass, there's no sense, like, with the Trinian coming up, they might just hit a land, and then, like, try to get me, okay. So then we know they have a Terminus. So I might as well just play this Trinity Nemesis, cast them, and then force, force a Terminus. Because they would have to draw, they can't draw a way to, because they have to draw land plus blue card, and land plus two blue cards in order to Terminus me. <coughs> That we're not. Doing. I'm not playing with that thing. Okay.
So the last card's Terminus. I think I'm still going to serve here. Because we're going to go to 12 and 17. We'll put them to 9, then we'll go to 13. Like, I think we're going to win this race. But we still have Bolts in our deck, too. They have a lot of Dynamite draws, though. Like, we can't really beat a Council's Judgment. We can beat Jace. Oh, Brainstorm. Wow, I'm so good at this game. So this day isn't going to do anything. And... I actually kind of like all these cards. I think I'm just going to go like this. Attack. Play my Delver. Because we, we might be able to like still get some value off of this. So I'm a little worried about like a, a hard cast. Like a Miracle Terminus. So I think we're going to wait actually. So I should have stacked this differently. Our Delver is going to be our backup. Well, they have a Terminus in their hand. Which is like what I was thinking about. So like they might be they might have to reinforce the hard cast terminus, but I didn't want to play my Delver. Like I I, I definitely messed up here with my sideboarding or with my sequencing because like I, I definitely like didn't do it super right here. But I think I, I think I could have played this better. I really don't want to I don't want to play like if I wanted to play my Delver I would have flipped then I could have killed them this turn. But I think the only way that I lose. Is if they like um, Miracle of Terminus. Because now they're going to cast their Terminus, hard cast it. I'm going to spell Pierce. And then if they force I daze, then they're out of cards and I win. This seems odd. Now we're just going to play Land Go. They go to activate this as Kanto. We're going to kill him. Bolt you. Got it. <clears throat> All right, we have 4 1. We're going to jump back in this league. I'm going to keep on the same YouTube video too because we came into the league uh, into match three. So it's going to be a longer YouTube video, but we'll get more in it. I should have won this match. I punted this. I'm not sure. I punted it. I'm not sure it would have mattered, though. But I think I should have won that match. I really like this deck. I think this deck is, like, the perfect mix of, like, what I like about Death Shadow and what I like about Grixis Control. I think this deck just does it, does it better than each one of those decks. <sighs> I said I was going to get a Dismember. Uh, this hand's not great, but if we find a brainstorm, it's pretty great. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it. Like if we're playing a Delver Mirror, we're 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 very like mana intensive, which is good. I like having extra lands. Playing against Taiga, this is probably not good. No, oh, we're so dead. We do have Trip Surgical in our sideboard. I actually didn't think this matchup was that bad when you were. Uh, Grixis Delver with uh, whatever it is. 100% going to daze. Not going to daze. Um, I didn't think this matchup was that bad. Dark Depths. Special Import. Death Queen Stage. Nick 2020. I guess I should have done it for that reason. All right. Both teams play hard. So there they just make an avatar and I can't kill it. So we want Surgicals, um, an Edicts, cards I'm not interested in. A Braid is nice because they sideboard into a, uh, they sideboard into a, like, cho like uh, Spheres and Chalices. So we might look there. I don't really like, Spellpress is okay. Thoughtseize is probably okay on the play. I don't think Pyromancer is that good. Because like, it gets Punishing Fired and it's slow. I just got five cards though. I kind of want my forces. 
So maybe I don't need all of them to come on the play, but like all all of this kind of man is not that good. I want to keep my bolts because I just want to race them. So I'm just going to try to get underneath. A, like I'll bring these abrades in on the draw, I think. First, okay, it's very good. That's pretty good. We could be in trouble too. <clears throat> like we have, we have threats, which is what we need, but we also have to find interaction. This turning emphasis is going to be pretty solid if we can get there. Brainstorm. Just want to flip it like an absolute savage. What's my opponent going to prop rotate for? I think I'm just going to play this Pyromancer. Like, I don't think there's anything they can do to me right now that's that scary. And I would much rather start like searching and doing my thing when they. Uh, when they have their mana. A tabernacle would be freaking so annoying here. I don't know if this is right to do, but it's aggressive. I need to find a way to, to counter crop rotation though, because that's the card that's gonna be the scariest. They're gonna port me in my upkeep, and I'm gonna brainstorm. Alright, Wasteland's nice. I don't even think we want this Trinity Nemesis at this point. So I'm going to go like this. That's tapped. Attack. Ponder. And then I think I'm going to Wasteland their green source. Like, I, my mana is already really developed. If they want to continue to port me, like, that's okay. Because I'm just going to kill them. Yeah, so let's just shuffle. Days is nice. That shuts off Grove. If they loam here, I'm in a daze. Probably surgical the loam. Oh, I had another one. Definitely on surgical that now. I just scoop it up. Okay, we just got too far under him. Okay, I don't think that Thought Seize is as good on the draw. So let's bring this in. And uh, ways to deal with the sphere effects. I'm going to cut another Pyromancer because Pyromancer is just going to be too slow on the draw, I think. Gurmag is good, True Name's good. Trim's harder to get to, but it, it's like it doesn't get hit by maze or anything like that. All right, Mulligan. Oh, gross. Okay. Maze. Here. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> oh, what are you going to get? What are you going to get?
I want to save surgical for a loan. Okay, rotation. Okay. So Pierce Thespian stage. Am I gonna get twenty twenty? Yes, I am. Yep, we're dead because we can't hit a we can't hit a die logging next turn. That sucks. So the mulligan of five hit a double waste, double force. I don't know if I had to force that first crop rotation, but. Or maybe I don't think I should have surgical it, but I don't know. I do not know. <clears throat> Felt bad though. Um, all the follows that came in, I appreciate all of you. I haven't been paying attention to that, but Z Zakuza, Professor Top Hat, or uh, Oz one sixty nine. Um, I appreciate all of you for the follows. Yeah, I couldn't really do anything, which kind of sucks. Oh my god, I made such bad coffee this morning. I have to drink all this coffee before my before my wife gets up. Then she has to drink it. I made a whole pot too. It is not good. I would like to play first. Sounds very good. We're going to lead on the Delver. I think it's really good against pretty much everything. Like, it's good against uh, Chalice decks. It's good against combo. It's good against little creatures. It's pretty good in the mirror because we're on the play. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, we're gonna base this. Okay, so we're playing Death and Taxes. So this Lava Man's pretty great. Hopefully this flips. We're gonna need it to flip. Come on, little boy. Yeah, another Daze, that's so good. We have Lava Man too. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna force this. I'm gonna let that go though. Oh, they played a fetch. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I messed up. <clears throat> I could have forced that, but like into a blue mana, like into a spell pierce feels kind of. Scary. My wasteland is not looking good. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. I should have noticed that. Forest. Okay. Put on the bottom. Put on top. I'm about to get back to basics. And I'm gonna hurl. Okay, nice. Put on the bottom, put on top. Now a little. What are you going to hit me with a Snapcaster Mage? A million click. The sad thing about this is they know that I have a daze. So I'm just going to return this island so that back to basics me next turn. My island. 
comes into play. This comes into play untapped. I can still play this Pyromancer eventually. I can slam that J boy. <coughs> nice, no J boy. We need a little bit more of a clock. Snapcaster Mage. So this is going to get plowed. We still have at least Lava Man and Elemental. They only have two cards. So let's hope their two cards suck. Ooh, they got rid of my Lava Mancer. That's interesting. Snapcaster Mage for another plow. Get rid of both things. I'm going to trade if they attack. Alright, they didn't attack. <clears throat> I really don't want to braid one of these because I don't want to just be cold to a monastery mentor. You got it. You got it. I think we're playing against Miracles. I don't think we're playing against like Stoneblade. I could be proven wrong right here though. Okay, so it appears we are playing against like a Stoneblade deck. Gonna hold this a braid. Yeah, we're just dead. Okay, so we're playing against a stone blade deck. So Thoughtseize is good. Liana's good. EE's good. A braid. Snapcaster. Diabolic Edict. And the blasts. And the fluster storms, maybe. A lot of cards for him now. <clears throat> Probably don't want Forest. Gurmag Angler doesn't sound great either. Grim Lava Mancer isn't that great. Spell Pierce is good on the play, I think. Maybe we don't need Hope. And EE might be too slow. We're bringing in two ways, we're bringing in four ways to deal with True Nemesis, anyways. Yeah, let's try this. I'm not super confident about this sideboarding, but it's what we're it's what we're gonna do. I would like to play first. This hand's pretty good. Let's go play this Pyromancer with double days back up. I feel pretty, pretty okay with running this thing out. I was playing around days really well, so maybe I shouldn't have ran that out until I could like do something with it. And now it feels like we're in a little bit of trouble. I 
Yeah, I probably should wait until like a cantrip or something. It might have been too aggressive just running it out there. Probably was. What do we got? You got a ponder? Bring this one, okay. If I had a red glass, I would hit that, but I do not. Yeah, I think I should have waited until I could do something with my Pyromancer. Because now I'm just not doing anything. Hmm. I could have double dazed. I don't think double dazing is really good, though. But maybe it's worth it to just keep my threat in play. Their brainstorm is perfect. Dead. I'm going to swap to the land. So we're so dead. This has been a very awkward draw. Problem is, I need a brainstorm, and like, there's no way they're gonna let me brainstorm. Like, they're just gonna keep a one on top of their deck for the rest of the game. I could have bolted them. Yeah, I probably should have bolted them. Just so that I could have tested what was on top. Yeah, that was stupid. I don't really see a good way out of this. Two. You got your stone forge mystic. So they're gonna shuffle. Probably gonna be a batter skull. I'm gonna always jerk it. Uh, you went to my friend's dad. We'll bolt this thing. Hopefully we don't get wrecked by a counterbalance. Alright, I'm just gonna play this Junior Nemesis. Like, they're gonna be able to put their batter skull in play, but we have an answer to it. And this true nemesis is gonna get into play now. Or their Umuza was just air main. They just drew plow. Is not to use kind of balance ability. Okay. For the love of God, I don't have a two on top. No, it's just a land. Okay.
Now's probably a good time to actually do lightning bolt, but I'm going to, I want to untap. Just make sure they can't cheat this into play. Now they don't have a, they have to resolve another body. I need to brainstorm like really bad. Because now they need the jerget, like the jerget's going to get into play, but they also need a body to go with it. Here's your jerget. Gosh. Yeah, you can look up on my my YouTube channel. There, I'll have it. In, it'll have it in the descriptions. I don't even want to, I'm not even going to run this Delver out because we know they have a plow. Snapcaster Mage. Target Brainstorm. Okay. Let them use their Brainstorm. At least have the mana for it. And I'm just gonna get rid of the Jurget. Like the Jurget's much more scary than the Snapcaster is. That punishes me. Yeah, I messed up here. This was not good on my part. They know their top card, they didn't even use it. I don't just want to spell pierce this, just spell pierce it. Probably. Ugh, they have their own spell pierce on top. Okay, well at least it's not a way to kill my training nemesis, but the Snapcaster Mage races the Trinium, right? Because they gain two life. Gross. I need like another Trinium Nemesis. We've drawn like, like I probably haven't played this game like super perfect, but we also have not drawn very well this game. Yep, you got it. You gotta get your get your counters on your jerget. <coughs> All right, well, that's something. I'm gonna leave this Delver because Delver's not gonna do anything. That, and I'm just gonna waste them. This Delver's gonna be like a test spell for a brainstorm. So now they don't have this. We think they have this. They probably still have the plow too. This is a council judgment. We're just gonna head to the next game match. Okay. Bleh. That was gross. Maybe I messed up by playing my 
Pyromancer too early on, like I should have played it where I could have at least bolted them or drawn with a double daze. I don't know. Like, I think we drew pretty poorly, but maybe there were some things that I could have done. <laughs> okay, like, like, am I supposed to... Am I supposed to double days here? Maybe I'll take a picture of it and post it for the people with bigger brains than I have. Okay, let me just take a picture of this. Give me one second, everybody. Just gotta go say hi to my wife. Bring some water, then I'll bring you some coffee in a second. Okay, let me join this match. Be right back. Give me one second. It's going to be a cup of coffee. Okay, I'm back. So we're gonna mulligan this hand. This hand's not good. Um, I guess we're gonna keep this one. Well, whatever. We're gonna put it on top. But we've gotta. Oh no, we're not. We're on the draw. That was done. Hopefully, we don't get wastelanded back. 
doesn't appear that we're going to get wastelanded. Ancestral visions. All right. I think I'm just going to ponder. This Grimlob Mancer is probably not going to do anything for me. If I had to guess. And we're going to go any order, shuffle. All right, that prior match is going to be decent. <sighs> we're going to get destroyed by this Ancestral Visions. Which will be like, what year is it? All right, I'm just gonna play this Pyromancer. Like, I don't have anything else going on. Uh, I can't, it's not like I have to draw blue mana in order to play Pyromancer with Spellpierce back up. Flagstones of what? I don't have any idea what's going on here. Propaganda. I'm not sure I can beat or resolve one of those in game one. On time. Yes. You know, I'll hold up the spell pierce for something. What an interesting deck I have queued into here. We are in the O2 bracket. My opponent's last cards are like Days, Force of Will. Alright. I yield. I yield, opponent. I need another blue card, which is right there. Okay. So the blasts have to be great. Nazis is probably good for him to play. I assume we don't want our forces. Blast Hope's probably good. A Ray doesn't seem great. Lava Man doesn't seem great. Probably can cut a wasteland. Probably can also just cut all of our wastelands. Then bring these back in. Because they're not going to give us good wasteland targets. Alright, this is what we're doing. <clears throat> There's an argument to bring in Dialogue Edict because they might have a true name. But. It's an odd deck I'm playing against. <clears throat> I probably could have an engineer explosives too. I think on the on the draw, I'm gonna cut my thought seizes and bring in like another force and the and then something else. Alright, we can keep this. Give me that ancestral visions.
Choose a normal permit that control an artifact, creature, enchantment, and a land and sacrifice the rest. Right, we're just going to get rid of that propaganda. We could have taken a brainstorm, which might have been good, but they have another one. We're really hoping for a land off the top here. Our own brainstorm would also be nice. It's odd they fetched. Unless they drew a counter spell. Let it draw. So, okay, so they drew another land too. So this is going to get up an island probably. Then we know the rest of their hand. But why didn't they just brainstorm before they did that? Now we're dead. Ugh. Yeah, see now this is like a crap. I don't understand this play. I don't understand the opponent. Maybe I was supposed to mulligan my hand. Maybe my hand wasn't good enough. Yeah, from Mox. Are you really gonna jam a Jace off of a Chrome Box? Cataclysm. Oh my god, this is so weird. Yeah, you got it. I'm gonna take one more draw step. If that doesn't work, we're gonna drop and get into another league. What kind of deck is this? They can still get bolted too. Or they didn't they didn't plus it. Alright, we're gonna keep playing magic. Incoming like back to basics or something like that. Or like another Jace. So willy nilly with all of their, like they're just they've they've had such bad brainstorms. Force this. I can't believe that worked. <sighs> At least my opponents only get one card. I have to find a blast or something like that though. In order to get that thing off the battlefield. Maybe I was supposed to just let the let the ancestral visions resolve, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what my opponent's doing here. Okay. And then let's shuffle. But such is life.
We know our opponent has a tundra in there, in the mix there, because they haven't they haven't gotten a shuffle off of a brainstorm. So you know one of these three cards is a tundra. Okay. I don't remember what I put back. That was a Gurmag Angler, so my Delver's not flipping. I'm not going to bolt them, because it just doesn't do anything. Like the elemental, you can't attack with it, so. And I'll just play a Gurdad because it smacks. I guess I probably should have played Gurmag Angler instead of Young Pyromancer earlier. Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, it was a punt. Because like it, it just hits harder. Yeah, I that was so stupid. Chooses. Okay. God, if I get a blast, it'd be so sweet. Let me just whack this. Uh, is there any reason to play this thing? Probably not if I want to pair it with a blue card. This is awesome. This is this is magic. Six cards, so I don't really have to bolt my opponent yet. All right, we'll bolt our opponent in turn so we don't have to discard. I want my land. All right, well, they're, they're like kind of close to dying. So now it takes four to attack, which is nice. There's our land that we needed right there. If we got that earlier, our Gurmag could have been slapping. So they're actually like kind of close to dying. Because why are they just really nilly fetching when they have no information? Fairy. Okay. All right. It'd be so sweet if I go like. All right, we're gonna bolt them again. If I had blast, I could have gone like blast bolt kill you right there. Alright, 
detention sphere. Okay. And I'm going to wait till the end of their turn, and I'm going to snap bolt. Hopefully we ripple land and we can attack. Let me make sure that I have enough vaults left in my deck. <coughs> I'm going to be so happy if I win this, mat win this game here. Into the underground sea, just in case my opponent um, lightning bolts. So we have one more in our deck. Both you. Nope. Now we're probably dead. Yeah, we're just. I'm gonna scoop this one up here. This is miserable magic. All right, draw a card. Draw a card. All right, let's drop this. We'll go back into another league. <coughs> 